Now coming to the anatomical and physiological dead space. So first of all, what is dead space? Dead space means what is the only function of major function of lung? It is the gas exchange. If there is gas exchange is not happening at a particular region, then the space is dead for us because we are not using it for the gas exchange. So it is called as dead space. The space where the gas exchange is not happening. Already we have seen in the beginning of the functional anatomy of respiratory system. Some of the part is just conducting the conducting the air, it is not doing any exchange. It is called as the conducting zone and its normal value is 150 ml. 150 ml of air, whichever we are breathing in the tidal volume. Tidal volume is normal value is 500 ml. Out of this, only 150 ml is there in the conducting zone and rest 350 only goes to the alveolar zone. So this, the dead space and it is called as anatomical dead space. And there is something called as physiological dead space. Physiological dead space means anatomical dead space plus alveolar dead space. In a normal subject, all the alveolar are functioning. So the alveolar dead space is usually zero. So in a normal subject, we can say that anatomical dead space is equal to physiological dead space. But if there is a airway mismatch or a air exchange mismatch, the physiological dead space is going to be more than the anatomical dead space whenever there is a disease. So with this, they can ask you two MCQs, which is the minute ventilation and alveolar ventilation. Please pay attention to the question. Sometimes they will ask you to calculate the minute ventilation. I have seen all the students making mistakes here, but this is such an easy question. What is minute ventilation? Minute ventilation means in one minute, whatever ventilation is happening in the lung, entire lung. So it is tidal volume into respiratory rate. Tidal volume is 500 and respiratory rate is 12. So the minute ventilation will be 6000 ml. Then there comes alveolar ventilation. Here they are not asking about the lung. Here the question is very much specified. Alveolar ventilation. Whichever air is going to the alveoli, that is only they are asking. So whichever air is going to the alveoli, what is it? It is the one which is ab above the dead space. Also in the tidal volume, we have to subtract this dead space. Because dead space air is not involved in gaseous exchange. So the, for the normal individual, it is 500 minus 150, which is 350 into 12. They can give you the values themselves, like the respiratory rate, they can give you 16. Alveolar ventilation, they can, uh, tide, sorry, tidal volume, they can give you 600 ml. And the dead space, they can give you 200 ml. Anything they can give. And finally, we have to plug in the values into this formula and identify it. So don't confuse the minute ventilation with that of an alveolar ventilation.